All right, time now for Talk Talkers, our new daily segment here on CTV Morning Live. As uh, we start to uh, get into some very interesting topics, and today we've got one no less. Uh, our panel today uh, includes some of our colleagues, of course, here at 87 George. I've got Stuntman Stu from uh, the Magic Morning Show, uh, Jason York from the Team 1200, and of course, Graham Richardson from CTV News. Good morning. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. And we have an interesting one to talk about today. This story mm. captured our attention this morning, and I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. It's a Brazilian woman, 20-year-old woman by the name of Katerina Migliorini, who has essentially sold her virginity for $780,000 and went up for auction on this website called Virgins Wanted. So... Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, and? Uh, this is like one of these things, what's happened to us? Um, uh, forget the sociological implications and uh, what it's telling young girls and how do you explain this to your kids and all those other things. Mm -hmm. uh, this is fits into that category of I'm going to get more attention than the last crazy outrageous stunt internet driven mm -hmm. and I'm going to get worldwide attention and I think it says a lot. They're making a documentary and what a shock the guy only got three thousand dollars there was her and a guy yes and some woman bid three thousand dollars now there's the woman we're talking about katarina right. there oh, seven hundred and eighty thousand okay. dollars uh to well take this woman's virginity mm. but she claims she claims she's going to take all that money and start up an ngo in her hometown where she was born to help people that need it like to set up homes affordable housing do you buy it? No. No, I don't buy it, and I only wish I thought of this 20 years ago. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten $780,000. I wouldn't have gotten 78 bucks. Yes, Yorkie? Stu might have paid $700,000 at the time. Yeah. So not a chance. What's she going to do with this money? Oh, boy. You know, I, I'm with Graham on this one. There's just so many people in today's day and age that want to get famous for not having any talent whatsoever. We see so many reality shows. It's getting pretty ridiculous. Uh, I'd like to see you say your name one more time, though. How about that? That's a little tongue twister there. Yeah, quite there. the name there. Now, we, you, Graham, you mentioned a minute ago that there was a fellow as well on this um, uh, Stepanoff. His name is Alexander Stepanoff, and he as well put his virginity up for sale and only netted $3,000. Yeah. Are we surprised that... He well, only got three grand. <laughs> Men and women are different. Yes. Another headline. Aren't we? Um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. Uh, I mean, not to get all uh, not to get all high and mighty, but I mean, I, you know, I, I think I think the the idea of making a documentary about this, like, what what what, what are we saying? Um, and and again, what, how do you explain it to kids? The other the other thing is um, uh, the charity aspect of it. I think is a bit. Uh, it's it's a bit much really mm -hmm. this is not about a charity this is about shocking us all mm -hmm. and this is about getting worldwide attention and success here we are talking about it right, right. and so uh, you know people out there are probably saying well uh, if it's so bad why are you talking about it on television I, because I think it does say something. I think it says something that's... Uh, that we have uh, no morals or values anymore we're willing to do anything just to, for the I'm shock a, value? I would get a job <laughs> Seriously, earn, get a earn job. some money the old-fashioned way. Yeah, go work in a restaurant. Go work in the in the dish pit, like but I did. seven hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Well, you'll get there if you if you're good. Get a job. Become an NHL hockey player. Do yeah, something. Yeah, and not and don't work right now. <laughs> There's no one. Come on, Scary. Okay, forget that one. I've got a sixteen-year-old daughter right now, and mm. I just hate the optics of this. You're trying to teach your children good values, especially girls. Yeah. Uh, like self-confidence. What do you say to her? Don't want like it, I don't know what I, this. I'm in shock. I didn't even know this. I but, came on here not even knowing about this, and I'm flabbergasted. Well, and it, and, it, and it has been uh, spread wide, and uh, lot, lots of people talking about it. But the uh, we're in a, we're in a place in our society where uh, someone like Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. who people are very very fascinated Enamored by, with, yeah. who watch uh, constantly, who follow on Twitter, and she she had a sex tape, mm -hmm. and that's essentially it. If you actually and they've managed to do a whole bunch of other things with their name and a whole bunch of other, but it, the core of how she started mm -hmm. was this was this sex tape that was on the internet. Was using sex to become famous. She's essentially a socialite, but that's what put her into the spotlight. There was nothing else before that. She's got all these other clothing lines and things now, but essentially was that sex tape that made 
Kim Kardashian, a household name, if you will. Is that going to happen with this model now? I think I think we all, we all have to point the finger at People Magazine for making these people famous. We're making the wrong people well, famous? I, We're giving I, them yeah. too much I pick, press? I pick up my, my wife's uh, People Magazine, and I'm like, okay, why is Kim Kardashian in this magazine? Yeah. Why is Lionel Richie's daughter? Like, I don't know what these people do besides be fortunate to have rich parents and yeah. do nothing. Like, there, there's no talent. And then people pay attention. His I just, wife's People magazine <laughs> subscription. Wife, Jason York. Hey. Well, <laughs> it, interesting topic, no less. And uh, still, the debate remains uh, unseen as to how much someone would pay for stuntman Stu's virginity. That's a whole other topic for a whole other day. That's Monday <laughs> on CTV Morning Live. All right, thanks, guys. I really appreciate uh, coming on to being our panel today. Of course, CTV uh, Morning Live continues uh, with more after this.